Absolutely not. Um, experimentation with lithium batteries began in 1912, and Sony commercialized the first lithium batteries in 1991. Today we use lithium batteries in every modern cell phone and a variety of other de daily use devices. Um, there's actually 30 different chemistries out there today. We personally chose lithium cobalt nickel aluminum for our batteries. Simply put, we chose Samsung because of their expertise. Some of the battery providers available to our industry have limited time and experience in manufacturing lithium-ion batteries and didn't meet our internal quality standards for design and construction. For example, many of them are still soldering their circuit boards and connections by hand. They're also still gluing their battery cells together so that any trouble with one cell or if one cell fails, it'll affect the cells next to it. In contrast, Samsung has been doing this for over 25 years, and they're one of the leading manufacturers of lithium batteries in the world. They eat, sleep, drink, and breathe this stuff. They have dozens of electrical engineers on staff, they design all their own circuit boards in-house, and the quality control in their factory is amazing. I've toured many factories in Asia and have never seen anything like it. Performance and safety were our two main goals. We chose the NCA chemistry because of its incredible battery life and stability. We've engineered seven layers of protection to safely harness its power. Our first layer of protection is a hard aluminum outer cell that protects the battery from impact. In contrast, other batteries are minimally protected from impact by only a soft foil pouch. There is a vent on the end of each cell, so if the battery starts to overheat or is damaged, it will release pressure. One of the problems in many battery designs is the foil pouch is meant to bulge and expand when it overheats, but the construction of the hard outer case does not allow this to happen. The third layer of protection is a structure where all cells are separated, which prevents cascade failure or thermal runaway. Other battery cells are taped or even glued together. This means if one fails, they all may fail. Next, the material that separates each cell is built out of a flame-resistant plastic. Although some batteries are housed in an insulated box, separation between cells is still non-existent. The fifth layer is the conductor at the end of the cells, which is a solid metal that conducts heat away from the cells. Other battery cells have thin metal tabs, which are soldered together, offering little to no heat reduction. The sixth layer is an insulated sheet on the top of those conductors. Instead of a protective insulated sheet, other batteries merely use thin tape to cover the conductors. All of this is housed inside a high impact polycarbonate ABS blend, which is also flame resistant. On top of all these safety layers, there's a battery management system that monitors the battery cells and checks for correct voltage, correct temperature, and other functions. For example, if there's a short circuit on the battery, the battery will shut itself off in 250 microseconds. very well, but most importantly, we've had it tested by three third-party agencies. UL has tested the battery and the cell itself. The UN Department of Transportation has tested the battery and the packaging. ETL has tested the battery and the battery in the machine. In addition, Samsung has tested the battery, and of course, we have done our own extensive testing. Our batteries were one of the first to undergo and pass UL 1017 version 9 testing which is not required until 2018. Ultimately, that's a labor question. The ISSA 612 cleaning time study found corded backpack vacuums clean two and a half times faster than a standard upright, and a battery backpack adds 35% more efficiency on top of that. For a company tasked with daily cleaning of an average size commercial building, the annual labor savings alone would offset the cost of a battery unit several times over, not to mention all the benefits to the operator and hard to reach places you can clean with a battery unit.